chasing that big bag. Nobody rhyming that clutch in the fire on. My younger day wants on ride for him. He mugging we up and I hope that the what it do is your boy OTC Row and welcome back to Root Reviews. Welcome back to the channel. Make sure you like, share, comment, or subscribe to the channel, man. I'm back with another video, man. This is hurling, man. But this is the fights in the savage pools, man. This is the moments we've been waiting for, man. I always want to know. Every time I see a new sport, I always want to know where the fights at, man. How do they fight? Shout out to my, one of my subscribers, Olsen Harrington, man, for sending me this video, man. We're going to get straight into it, man. Waste no time. Here's Dave Clark. Oh, they show you too much of that to Alan Markham. And uh, the back fouling Markham, the referee decides. Markham is not particularly noted in Clare as a corner forward. He's moved out to the half line at this stage. Here he is, contesting with Dave Clark. And uh, that's where the connection was made, and the referee says it was deliberate. Shawnee Tobin was brought in as a sub for Limerick. A brief introduction. As a monster hurling fair. But on the brink of halftime, proceedings ramped up a notch. Close to halftime, and that's a punch there, which was thrown at, thrown at Donald O'Grady. Clear down to 14 men after Pat Donlan was dismissed. Pat Donlan. If the first half... They're working it in here. This is a dangerous moment. Lark Corbett looking for a support player. There wasn't anybody there. You saw the Kilkenny players surrounding him. And, and Irish people are very, very tough, man. They, they aggressive too, man. So you know everybody out there is about that action. Quickly there, the referee... Go. Some Kilkenny people on the way in and are saying, if we lose today, the other three don't count. And that's a bit drastic, but there you see Jackie Turrell... He wasn't budging and I think the referee's going to throw the ball in, but as you say, he wasn't going to budge there. And certainly Tipperary felt that that was a foul on their man. Yeah, it's a straight on. I suppose, you know. In your eyes, you go up and you back the ball. He pulls straight across Rhino Dwyer's head, made no attempt to play the ball. You watch it here, he just stands back and nowhere near the ball. Let's the ball straight in past him. Terrible stroke, got the red card. But this to me is a worse incident. Peter Kelly is fullback. He gets out in front of his man. You have to remember that Garrett Simmons is playing in. He's a wing forward. He makes no attempt to go for the ball. He just hits Peter Kelly straight down on top of the head. And the referee gives him a yellow card. Whatever he must have thought there was no intent, not as much intent or whatever, uh, to, you know, carry this play. But to me, the man is out in front. Stalemate. In the end, it's Patrick Bonner Maher. And again, the referee sees the foul and gives the free in. And it hops up and Kilkenny make it very, very awkward for Patrick Bonner Maher. And then the referee got a little nick there as somebody was passing by. And it happened, it is, in the past, in other matches I could remember, and he's going to require yeah. attention. They are, I think, a stick just going by, passing him, accident. They need to give, the players got helmets, they need to give the refs some helmets, man. They touch the referee, and he's going to uh, require attention. He won the free, Michael, but uh, yeah. they were unhappy about it. I think they probably felt he had held on too long. Yeah, he got a right clip on the nose there. Um, I think it might have been sh sh You see, Tommy Walsh, actually. It looked like Tommy Walsh has hurled through the crowd. Uh, Je James McGrath has gone in there now. Well, you can see a little bit of blood coming in. Uh, Take some fanning. There, there's oh, a, a band will pull, pull a bit a of a pull there. as well, yeah. Depends what the umpire... Somebody let me know how hard those sticks are and how heavy they are. Say now. Well, the umpires, this was clearly in the vision of the umpires. Two yellows, I'd suspect. Both Breaking out of defence there. Taking it well, David Park out of defence. Out as far as Joe Kelly, a crunching tackle. And it's Tony Marr who came in that time. Out over the sideline went Joe Canning. And he certainly felt the effects of that. Just have a look at this shoulder tackle again. Crunching. Yeah, I'm surprised Joe picked it, ran into the tackle. See there, no malice there. Go to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs> very, very hard hit. Bro, that, that, that sound like that hurt it, bro. Like, hurt it. Like, bad. My out for months. His season is over. It's crazy, bro. With all 
this going on, I see a lot of pushing, grabbing, and tugging, and slunging, but they con they controlling themselves. They ain't throwing no punches, like no big haymakers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I spoke too soon. What effect will that have on the match? This is wild pull. Mitch Jordan could be in trouble because he's already been booked. He's already received the yellow card and now it's red. Wexford are down to 13. When you're booked already, anything can happen. Wild swing. It was a very, very reckless pull there. And this is what happened for the sending off earlier on. You can see, referee had no option. 13 for Wexford, 14 for Tipperary. Eric Maher brought it down initially, tied up by Conor O'Mahony. Strong, heavy hit on Conor O'Mahony as the ball sprays out over the sideline. Eric Maher is going in there. John Conlon is also getting involved, and I think both teams are rekindling, perhaps, rivalries of your Nicky English. Yeah, I don't I, First of all, it was, a, it, was a, it was a great sense of anticipation. The match everybody has wanted to see for weeks now in hurling. And that little pile-up will be finished, I imagine. Oh, the linesman, Brian Gavin's got a... Once again, ref, get the hell about the way, bro. Or or, or or do something from the side, bro. You, you don't got no helmet on. They got sticks. Over there. Well, it really is hot and heavy. Should we start with a throw ball? But you never know. The fighting and the rowing just continuing and spilling over a little bit. Definitely Tommy lost his early and didn't want to let the ball up. And when McCarthy was trying to shift him off it, and I suppose that's when they got entangled with each other. It doesn't mean there's any real belts thrown. It's more of just a... Uh, oh man, it goes down in hurling, man. Shout out to all the Irish, man. Whoo, man, that's a physical sport, man. That's a sport where they letting a lot of stuff go, man. You think hockey lets you fight, man? Hockey lets you get the thing, but they they got sticks out there. They throwing sticks. They swinging on the ref. They kicking people. They stomping on people, man. That's what I like to see, man. I like to see the savage parts of sports, man. Just let people know, man. Yeah, man. Sports is sports. But sports is also sports, nigga. Anyways, man, it's your boy OTC, man. Shout out to my subscriber for sending this to me. I will see you when I see you, man. Y'all be easy. Gone.